I would say my time at Pierce, it's, it's kind of more of an abstract idea for me. It, it's the overarching idea of what it took to be successful in my classes is what, very similar to what it takes for me to be successful in music. I started at Pierce College in 1999 as a Running Start student. In that uh, time, I was not a motivated student like I should have been. I didn't do so well. I did graduate from high school. Uh, a few years later, I decided I would want to go back and give it another shot. Coming back, uh, my brother was attending Pierce College at the same time, and we happened to sign up for the same class, and that was Biology 100 with Professor Stephanie Joy. I was really underconfident with academically thinking this is just not gonna work out. I'm, I'm you know, uh, I just wasn't sure, but I thought I, I'm gonna give this a shot. And so I did and I took my first test and I thought I studied as hard as I could and I got a D on my first biology test. And I just thought to myself, I'm done. I'm, this is the reason why I didn't return to school because I'm just not meant to do academics. I remember the specific conversation with my brother on the phone, taking, he's the one taking the same class. And he encouraged me, you can do this. So I decided I'm gonna try this out. And in the end, I ended up getting a 4.0 in that class. Pierce was really a, a great foundation for moving on to my experience at UW Tacoma. I began to record uh, albums and I decided I'm gonna give this a try because I'm a musician and I've played for a long time and I always wanted to try this. When I finally made that, took that step and released albums out on Spotify and Apple Music and different platforms like that, I started to see a good response. I very much connect that experience of being willing to release things out there back to Pierce College. Because prior to that, I had had recording equipment, I had had the opportunity to release things, but I really lacked in my ability to subject myself to like other people's criticism even and things like that. Currently, I have uh, about 25 albums out there so over 300 tracks and it's streamed between three different platforms and I have monthly over three million streams. My experience at Pierce was just very helpful toward what I do. Um, even though it maybe wasn't direct, I didn't major in music, but just the, the practices and the discipline and all that that I experienced was really helpful for what I do now. As a recording artist, uh, what I'm most known for are really my uh, releases of hymn, al of hymn albums and uh, very traditional, more sacred music. In 2013, uh, Red Lobster had a contest called the Ultimate uh, Lobster Fan Contest. Basically what they were asking for was for people to send in either pictures or videos just expressing their love for lobster. Now that I found her, there's just no way I could ever resist. And so I thought, wow, how cool it would be to write a song that would express my love for lobster. It's kind of silly. Don't try to stop her. She's my lobster. Delicious in every way. And so I composed something pretty quickly. It's kind of like a jingle. Just to behold her is a pleasure. A pleasure with every taste. In the end, I won the grand prize. Because of Pierce College, it has allowed me to get to where I'm at now and to truly be able to develop the skills uh, and the self-belief to be able to accomplish what I want to accomplish, what my dreams are. And so it's really just helped me have that resilience that it takes in order to achieve my dreams.